So having selected a batch of plants which are looking uniform and you want to know whether or not there is any major problem or minor problem with this particular leaf on the plant at this time, you then want to start collecting the particular samples. So you would choose plants at random. You wouldn't take the very youngest leaves and similarly you wouldn't take the very old leaves from the bottom of the plant. The very young leaves are not fully charged with all the nutrients they require and the very old leaves at the bottom of the plant have already started to lose some of the nutrients to the upper part of the plant. Once you've decided that you've got the plants that you're looking for, you then start to collect fully mature, well expanded leaves and you need to do this at random across the whole range of plants that you're looking at. And for the laboratory to make any use of the sample, there has to be at least half this container full of the leaves ready for analysis. So once you've collected your leaf sample, you then need to obviously get it to the laboratory as soon as you can, preferably within 24, 48 hours, so there's no deterioration of the sample. The other thing to remember is when you, when you send off the sample is to make sure the sample is clearly marked as to what it is and where it's come from, mainly because otherwise the laboratory are going to struggle to actually send you any results. The leaf should then be placed in the bag, sealed up and sent off in a jiffy bag. So for leaf sampling, when we start to look at the crop, we've got to decide whether the crop is all uniform and healthy green like this, or whether there are specific areas of the crop where it already appears to have a deficiency of a nutrient. If the crop is all healthy green like this, we'd obviously go into the crop and take a random sample from the whole of the area. On the other hand, if there are particular plants which have got this symptom showing, we would then start to collect a sample of these leaves and actually use this as a separate analysis from the main crop, which is all looking nice, healthy green. Then we've got a comparison for the analysis at the end to look at the results.